Well, on a day like today, you can't help but want to be indoors, maybe mm. by a warm fire. So consider that there are coastal fishermen who have no choice but to brave all kinds of weather. Fishing Oregon's water is dangerous work, but like logging, it often runs in families. Tonight, as we look back at 50 years of KEZI, we visit with the Letter family from Newport. It was part of our series, Survival on the Seas. I'm making uh, pork chops, barbecue pork chops, and corn, and we got salad for dinner. For the men and women who make a living on the Pacific, this can be family for days at a time. I didn't get married for till 12 years ago I didn't, because it wasn't conducive to family life. So the guys on the deck become an extended family of sorts, though not one that replaces the wife or husband or kids back at home. You see, a lot of times that family is in the thick of things too. But frequently, it's the whole family uh, which is involved, not just uh, you know uh, one spouse or the other who's actually driving the boat and uh, uh, setting the lines or pulling the net through the water. My husband's been a fisherman for about 25 years. Michelle Letter has been alongside the whole time. It's definitely a family affair. We have two sons who are 20 and 17, and uh, when they're not in school, they both uh, fish with my husband. So. <laughs> from legal counsel to the um, chief bottle washer. That's the way it goes for many of Oregon's fishing families. Everyone gets involved, at least that way the family can spend a little time together. Sometimes he um, lives away from home from November to May. A lot of families, they, they figure out a way to get that family time together. Sometimes you have to be pretty creative. You know, one year I uh, took a 23-pound turkey and four or five pies and packed an entire Thanksgiving dinner in the back of a car and cooked it on the vessel. The families say things are almost always good when everybody's on the boat. But when Michelle's husband is out at sea and she's back in Newport, sometimes her mind wanders. I think the hardest time for any fisherman's wife is when um, you see the helicopter, the Coast Guard helicopter going by um, with a searchlight, um, sometimes looking for um, uh, wreckage. Many an evening, fishermen's wives have sat on these Newport beaches watching the waves lap at the shore, wondering just what is going on on the vessels out at sea. The fact of the matter is, even when the weather is really nice here in port, it can be frightening on the open sea, keeping the wives' nerves on edge. It's harder on the women sometimes than it is the men, because we're out here dealing with it, but you get into those storms, I think they go through more emotional distress than actually being here in it. You always worry, and you just find a place for it. That kind of stress would tear a lot of families apart, but the folks on the Oregon coast are a special breed. And you're out here, and you just got to go for it, and grind through it, you know, and keep going. And, and that's exactly what the families do. They put aside their time apart, the stress of not knowing exactly what's happening at home or on the sea, and they persevere because they love the ocean and they wouldn't have it any other way. Uh, we love the way of life. It's very, it's very healthy. It's very um, rewarding. It's enormously productive. There's something really satisfying about the fact that what we do is we feed people. In Newport, Jack Penning, KEZI News.